Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss how we can install the EG agent on HP UX operating system. Before we start the installation, we need to gather two basic required information. First, we need to know the EG manager IP or the host name and the port number for communication. I am going to use egontap.eginnovations.com and the port number is 80 for this installation. We also have to make sure that we are able to communicate with EG manager so I will try connecting with the EG manager. This is the server where we are going to install the EG agent. From here I am going to use the command telnet egontap.eginnovations.com and the port number 80 and this shows that we are able to communicate with the EG manager. EG uses HTTP or HTTPS protocol for communication. We have to make sure if EG manager is using SSL, we have to use the SSL for EG agent installation. The next one is proxy server information. As I mentioned earlier, EG uses HTTP or HTTPS protocol for communication. In some infrastructure, proxy servers are used for communication. As shown in the below example picture, the server in the location A communicates with the EG manager directly, but in the location B, the server uses proxy for communication. In that case, we need the proxy server IP address and the port number for EG agent and manager communication. If the authentication is involved for the proxy, then we need the username and the password also. Since we have all the information ready, I am going to start the EG agent installation. Here I have EG agent executables for HP UX downloaded in my local system. You can use WinSCP or FileZilla to transfer the file. Here I use WinSCP to transfer the file to HP UX server. Before we transfer the file, we have to make sure it is in a binary format. Now we have the executables copied to the HP UX server. Now we can start the EG agent installation. First we have to move to the directory where we have the EG agent executables that is CD temp EG software. Now we have to provide the execution policy for the software iagent underscore hpux. The command I'm going to use is chmod plus x iagent underscore hpux. Now let's check the execution permission. Now it has the execution permission. Now we have to unzip the folder eg agent underscore hpux dot depot dot gc. So I'm going to find the location where we have the gun zip. Now I have unzipped the folder. Let's make sure we have unzipped the folder. And this shows that we have unzipped the folder. Now we can start the EG agent installation. And press enter to continue. So this is the SAM interface that we are going to use to install the EG agent. So we have to first mark it. Now I have to go to the actions. And I have to install the software.
now the installation has been completed you can click on done now we have to come out of the SAM in order to continue the setup so file exit here you have to enter the user that you are going to use for the installation so I go by eGurka so I'm pressing the enter you can press enter to continue so here for EG agent auto restart on system boot up I'm going to click on no now the EG agent have been installed successfully now we have to switch to the folder where we have the setup file that is CD op eGurka bin So here you can see the setup underscore agent file. Before we start the setup, we have to switch to the installed user that is eGurka. So now we can start the setup. VS to the licensing time. Here you have to provide the host name or the IP address of EG manager that is EG on tap dot EG innovations dot com. The port number is 80. Since there is no proxy involved in the communication, I'm going to say no to that. There is no SSL involved in the EG manager communication, so I'm going to say no to that as well. Here you have to provide yes or no option to the nicknames. Agent nickname is an alternate identifier for EG agent. Normally, during communication, EG manager identify the EG agent with an IP address. In some environment where the dynamic IP system is prevalent, in such scenario, you can assign a unique nickname for the EG agent so the EG manager will identify the EG agent with the nickname irrespective of the IP address. Since we have the static IP system prevalent, I'm going to say no to the nickname. These are the additional features which are used for different application monitoring, so I'm going to say no to that. Now the EG agent have been configured successfully. Now we have to start the agent. Now the EG agent have started successfully. These are the procedures that needs to be followed in order to install the EG agent on HP UX. Thank you for your time. You have a great day.